Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous couple of sessions, we got a clear introduction to design thinking. Why is it important? What is the difference between design thinking and the traditional approach? What are the companies that have already adapted design thinking and found great success? All these have been discussed. In this session, quickly we will understand the key reasons behind why design thinking is important and we will take some fantastic case studies. The first and foremost reason is the focus and the paramount concentration is on the user. The solutions are designed to solve the real user problems and that leads to satisfaction. The user satisfaction leads to further business and that's win-win for both users and the company. Second, design thinking always encourages creativity. Against the conventional methods, against the conventional thought process, we can go ahead and get the out-of-box thinking and we can get the creativity embedded there. More the creativity, better the results would be. Third, we are reducing the risks of failure. We are going more with iterative measures and prototype based approach where we are testing the prototypes and gathering the feedbacks much early. And that way, the costly mistakes can definitely be avoided and the risks are reduced to a greater extent. And finally, it's super flexible and adaptable. This is applicable across the industries, whether you are designing a product or a service or a system, you can go ahead with design thinking and that way you will find great success. We are getting into some examples and where the first point that I told you is the focus on the user. Before design thinking, you can see that we had conventional phones where we had numbers, keypads, all those things visually appearing for you and that's a larger phone, in fact a longer phone. Apple has revolutionized this by focusing on the user's perspective. They designed a product that's simple, intuitive and accessible to broader audience. They made it sleeky. So this way, the focus was more on the user, more features came in and design thinking was at the best with Apple. Second, outcome. The outcome of this design thinking based approach was very visible and iPhone has become a game changer. It has given a lot of things for the customer including excellent customer satisfaction by solving multiple real world problems. It has given fantastic security, safety, browsing features, communication features, most importantly Apple as ever has given the entertainment features as well. Encourage creativity. If you talk about the earliest versions of the phones before the iPhones, for example, even the smartphones relied on the keypad. So, the BlackBerry is the best example which I am presenting you in front of you. Apple disrupted this by questioning, why do we need a keypad itself? We do not have a keyboard requirement at all. Why cannot we make it only the screen? They started this question and there is where the revolution has started. The screen allowed the users to interact directly with the content and making it more and more friendly and usable. This was the beginning of the revolution in the smartphone industry and that's how it all started, its creativity. Reduces the risk of failure, that's the next point that we need to understand. Apple did not just produce the phones in millions and millions and they did not launch it to the market. They created numerous prototypes and tested it thoroughly and Apple is meant for it. And at every stage they tested it and they ensured that the product is meeting all the user requirements and the real world needs. Flexible and adaptable. They created an ecosystem. It is not just the phone that they created. They built iCloud, iTunes, App Store, and multiple things around that and there is where the creativity has come in at the peak. They understood that the users wanted a seamless experience across the devices as well and they went into multiple Apple devices also. Now we have everything with Apple. They created solutions and they integrated all their products together with the solutions. With this approach, they have become number one in the market and they are the superb leaders in this area. And as you know, we all love Apple products. Steve Jobs says, design is not what it just looks like and feels like. Design is like how it works. That's what it is, right? Apple works fine. That's it. We have got design thinking in one word from Steve Jobs. Design is how it works. And Steve Jobs is not an engineer, by the way. So for you to be a design thinker, you need not be an engineer. You can be anyone who has got the user-centric perspective and that way you will design the best product for you. And Apple focused on making the product for users, making the product more intuitive for the users. They pushed the creative boundaries 
by eliminating the traditional approaches and the components. They do not have keyboard. That's the first one that they started. Over and above that, they have multiple revolutions. Apple minimized failure risk by continuously testing their prototype. They are very good in that. And their approach was adaptable, acceptable, and it has reached the peak. That's why design thinking needs these four points which I told you. The first one is focus on the user. Second one is the creativity. Third one is the risk of failure which has to be reduced. And finally, your design should be flexible and adaptable too. With that note, I'll close the session. If you have any questions, go ahead and type it in the chat section. I'll be happy to answer. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.